Hey, this is Garrett Brill. So today I have something that's, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't even think that I would be bringing something like this to you uh, this soon. Uh, everybody knows that the AMV has been the gold standard so far in live streaming. Um, you know, we, we see some of these that run on the SDKs. They're tied to a one particular platform and all that stuff. And as awesome as the AMV is, um, we now have something that I think is going to be even better. I'm pretty sure it already is. I want to do some thorough testing on it. Looks like I'm going to get to do it, but I kind of want to give you a sneak preview. So I'm out here with Clay from Middle Othian PD, and we're just doing some initial testing on it. And what you see here is... Uh, I'm just showing you on a regular screen, um, like a TV, of what might be in your incident command. And Clay is out there with a the cell phone. Then we have an M210 up in the air. And we've tested this with the Autel Evo and the Paradinafi and everything else. But I'm going to kind of just give you an overview. I'm going to have to do a lot of testing and a lot of videos on this. So let's kind of just get started. What you're seeing here is the interface that you would get from incident command um, if they were looking from multiple streams. And the importance of this is you can see the top down view of the drone in the middle. Uh, the one on the left is actually coming from a cell phone. So it's a contributor. All of these coming into the same one. And then the one on the right would be something like a pole cam or a throw phone or a robot or anything like that. Again, this doesn't care what you put into it. So this is great. Let's take a look at, at the system here. Let's bring it on down and let's look at, take a look at the system here, what we have set up. So this is the IGAN uh, from the company's name is Sita, and the product is IGAN. Uh, this is the one of the big differences here is the video streaming is just the beginning. Now I know that sounds crazy because that's what we're showing today is the video streaming, but this thing had, can do so much uh, that we're going to have to break it down into pieces. Again, this is just the streaming. So you can see over here we have the Autel hooked up. We stream through that. This is the box itself. Now, I'm going to tell you just a few things about the box is this thing can either run off of power, but you see the battery here. This thing can also run off a of battery so you can be completely remote um, and plug it in and fly whatever you need to fly. Again, it doesn't have to be a drone. Uh, of course, drones is the thing that, that really gets me with the technology. And this thing is a huge complement to the drone. All right, so not only can we get multiple streams from multiple sources and everything else, but how does it get any better? Well, we have audio, all right? So you can actually connect this up to your whole incident command system, and now along with your video, so you're seeing everything from every angle that you want, the air, the ground, even some guy with a phone. And I watch this, I have a little keyboard down here, and I'm gonna talk to Clay out there. You can see Clay out there playing with the phone. Right, so I'm gonna talk to him and we can see if we can hear him back. Hey Clay, can you hear me? I can hear you. There you go. So, and this can be global by the way. So this thing isn't just tied to, uh, you know, some local area network or anything else. Now, one of the big things that I really wanna be able to show you in a, in a future video is this, is this is the big thing for me and it's absolutely huge. This, for the first time ever, this thing can actually stream up to 4K video through a satellite uplink. And no, I thought that that was total, no way that that's going to happen. I know that's been a dream for a lot of people for a lot of time. I've seen it myself. I want to show it to you later. It's absolutely crazy. And so now, whenever we get out there and we have a tornado strike, flooding, whatever it is, and all the cell towers down, but you still have to get the communications, the data, the video, everything else back to command and between units, you can actually use a satellite uplink and make that happen. Um, I'm super excited about that. By the way, there it is on a tough book and you can see all the streams. Let me see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. You can see all the, the different streams that we have going right now. We're kind of lim limited with just me and Clay, but again, you've got, you've got the drone, you've got a cell phone, and then you have a camera that's uh, zoomed in on clay uh, with the phone itself. So imagine the capabilities, imagine the possibilities of this. Um, oh, there's another one for you. It's all made in the USA. So this is actually a company uh, that is US based. I know that's kind of become something uh, of, of a concern here lately. This is because of what this, the communications and everything this can do. 
uh, all US based, all encrypted, uh, total secure networks and everything else. So um, again, I'm hoping to get one of these things here pretty soon, uh, probably maybe in the next two, three weeks, get my hands on it uh, and just by myself, get out and, and beat it up, take it out to areas with very low signal, um, make sure it still gets all the sub-second latency that we love and everything else. And I uh, hope to be making some more videos about this soon. Just wanted to get this out there. Uh, I'm excited about it and I'll talk to you later.